A digital badge from AWS or any other badge provider provides a verifiable way for individuals to showcase knowledge, skills, or accomplishments, whether through a resume, social network, or email signature. Badge owners can display the badge image with a unique link that anyone can click to verify that special and specific individual's achievement. Badges from AWS are free and anyone can earn them. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can claim the AWS Cloud Practitioner Badge or any other AWS related badge. So let's get right into it. I am on the AWS Certification Digital Badge web page and I will share the link in the description of this video. So once you are on that page, click on AWS Certification Account. If you don't have any account, it will first ask you to create a free account with your email. I already have the account. So I'm going to click on go to your account and if you don't have it on the top right you will get the sign up option. By clicking on it it will redirect me to cert matrix web page. On the cert matrix web page from Amazon or AWS you will get another page with few options on the top where you can see your profile, your exam registrations if you're attempting any exam in the near future and you can also view your exam history. But we are interested in the digital badges. So click on the very last menu option. Once you click on it, it will take you to another page. This page gives you a, gives you a quick introduction what exactly is a badge and how you can obtain it. But we are looking to accept our already existing badge. So click on sign into Credly, which is a third party website. Once you sign into Credly, if you don't have any account, again, it will ask you to sign up. I already have the account and I'm already signed in, as you can see. And on this screen, because Credly is not from AWS, so it also services various other providers. As you can see on my screen, I obtained this badge or certification back in 2010, February 6th, a long time back, and I haven't accepted it as of yet. So all I need to do to accept it is to click on this accept badge. Once you click on it, it says that it will be accessible to public and all the future badges from Oracle will be accepted and public. So that's fine. I'll just do the save settings. It has accepted it and now I can see my badge. I can share it on LinkedIn, uh, Twitter or any other website. See if this is an Australian website for job seekers then you will you might have your own as per your location i also get some embedded code which uh, if i want i could display it on my blog or any other location public link to share among my network and this is quite interesting where i could even share it on the blockchain um, i think this is a bitcoin blockchain anyway so once that's done you can go ahead and view it on your dashboard you also get this certification here. Uh, but in this case, we are more interested in the AWS one. So on the top search box, write AWS and click search. Once you click search, you get all the certification and badges from AWS. I'm in interested in badges. So I'm clicking on the badges on left hand side. Now you, here you can scroll down to see what sort of badges are available from AWS. If you keep scro uh, scrolling down, you'll see there is one AWS Cloud, Cloud Practitioner. Click on it. And if you have already passed it, the accept button will appear here. And then once you accept it, you will be able to share it on your social media network or wherever you like with the option which we showed. And it also shows you whether it's a free one or a paid one. In this case, it's a paid one. And then you can also have a very good information regarding this badge. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comments. And before I close this video, I would actually would like to say a couple of things first. I'll be creating a video, a condensed video as how to actually pass this cloud practitioner course with a very specific hands-on information. And secondly, don't rely on certification. Certification doesn't mean that you know about a topic. Certification doesn't guarantee you a job. It only gives you two things, a feel good factor, a sense of accomplishment, that is, plus your willingness to learn more about AWS, which is 
quite sought, sought after from the employers. So don't solely rely on the certifications. Try to learn more stuff, read the documentation, and practice as much as possible. Okay. Um, so I again, I believe, I hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.